Hello viewers. So in this uh, video lecture, we are going to see about how to design a band pass filter for the given frequency, cutoff frequency ranges from 0.2 radian per second to 0.3 radian per second. The filter, the order of the filter is given as a 7. So you have to design the FAR band pass filter using Hamming window. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me see how to design this band pass filter using Hamming window for the filter length is 7. The first step one is, step one is you have to plot the response from the given data. Here, it is an ideal, it is an ideal filter, it is an ideal filter. So the magnitude is equal to 1 and it is symmetrically about 0. The frequency, the cutoff frequencies is at 0 0.2 radian per second and 0 0.3 radian per second it is in between minus pi to plus pi again it is 0 0.3 that is minus 0 0.3 and minus 0 0.2 the response you have the maximum the frequency you have the maximum signal between 0.2 and 0 0.3 frequencies and similarly for it is symmetrically about 0 0.3 that is the value is equal to 1 that is HD of E power J omega is equal to 1 so from this we identify the filter as we identify the filter as an band pass filter okay so from this we have to find the the desired response by uh, by taking the inverse uh, Fourier transform that is the step the step two to is step two to find the desired response. So to find the desired response, you have to take the inverse Fourier transform. That is HD of n is equal to one by two pi. So for the total period, minus pi to plus pi HD of e power j omega into e power j omega n into d omega it is equal to 1 by 2 pi the frequencies is for this minus 0 0.3 to minus 0 0.2 instead of e power j omega value is 1 then e power j omega n into d omega the next 1 by 2 pi integral 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 e power j omega n into d omega integrate this with respect to omega which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integrating it e power j omega divided by with respect to omega so that is j n and then minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 and similarly 1 by 2 pi e power j omega n divided by j n the limit is 0.3 and 0.2 this is equal to apply the limits the upper limit and the lower limit which is equal to e power minus minus j 0 0.2 <coughs> n minus e power minus 0 point j into 0 0.3 n divided by j n similarly plus 1 by 2 pi e power j 0 0.3 n minus e power plus j 0 0.2 n divided by j into n okay and then by rearranging this that is uh, you know the formula relation you know the relation that is uh, e power i theta that is you know the relation e power i theta minus e power minus i theta divided by 2i is equal to sin theta. So I am going to apply this so that my equation will come as that is by taking 1 by pi n common outside. By taking 1 by pi n common outside that is I am taking the value that is 0 point e power j that is e power j 0 0.3 n 
minus e power minus j 0 0.3 n divided by that is the whole divided by 2 j and then similarly minus e power j 0 0.2 n that is minus common outside so that minus e power minus j 0 0.2 n that is equal to 1 by pi n that is sin 0 0.3 n minus sin 0 0.2 n so this is the uh, desired response so we have found the desired response as sin 0 0.3 n minus sin 0 0.2 n divided by n pi so we have already we have know how to write the desired response from the from the plot itself that is sin 0 0.3 n minus 0 0.2 n divided by pi n so very simple next step is you have to find the step 3 step 3 is you have to find the actual response or or impulse response here uh, the desired response is of uh, infinite in duration so we are truncating this infinite duration into finite duration for n is equal to 7 so that my n value is equal to 0 to n minus 1 by 2 so n is equal to 7 minus 1 6 6 by 2 is equal to 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 and the final h of n you have to design the fr filter by using the handing window so that you have to multiply the desired response with the Hamming window okay the first we try to find the desired response for different n value that is hd of n is equal to sin 0 0.3 n minus sin 0 0.2 n divided by n pi so for this hd of 0 that is for hd of 0 that is sin 0 is 0 so 0 by 0 it is an in determinate value this is an indeterminate value so uh, it is an indeterminate value you have to go for an L hospital rule that is HD of uh, 0 a limit n tends to 0 L hospital rule differentiate a numerator and denominator with respect to n so that 0.3 into cos 0.3 n minus 0.2 into cos 0.2 n divided by pi so which is equal to which is equal to that is a, when you put n is equal to 0 0.3 minus 0.2 <coughs> divided by pi which is equal to 0.1 divided by pi and this value is equal to 0 0.03183 so for, for uh, finding the value for uh, different n values use the calculator in radian mode next uh, to find the value for similarly you have to find the value for uh, hd of 1 hd of 2 and hd of 3 that is hd of 1 uh, that substitute the uh, substitute the n value for 1 so from this find the hd of 1 and this value is equal to 0. 0, 0308 and hd of 2 is equal to 0 0.0278 and hd of 3 is equal to 0 0.0232 then you have to find the window function the window function is by hamming window so you know the you know the relation for a hamming window that is 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 into cos 2 pi n divided by n minus 1 and it is equal to 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 into cos 2 pi n here capital n value is 7 7 minus 1 is 6 and it is equal to 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 into cos that is pi n by 3 so for for uh, find the different uh, n values that is a wm of 0 so the cos 0 value is 1 so 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 it is equal to 1 and wn of 1 
and then uh, substitute uh, n for n is equal to 1 cos pi by 3 into 0.46 plus 0.54 it is equal to 0 0.77 similarly find for all the n values for w m for w m of 2 is equal to 0 0.31 and w m of 3 is equal to 0 0.08 next you have to find the actual response the actual response has been found by multiplying the the desired response that is h of n is equal to you have to multiply the desired response and the window function so from this h of 0 is equal to that is uh, h of 0 hd of 0 into that is uh, 0 0.03183 into 1 which is equal to 0 0.03183 and similarly h of 1 that is 0 0.0308 into 0 0.77 which is equal to 0 0.02926 and similarly h of 2 is equal to 0 0.0278 into 0 0.31 and is equal to h of 2 you just multiply it the value is equal to 0 0.0086 and h of 3 is equal to 0 0.0232 into 0 0.08 and this value is equal to multiply it 0 0.01856 so we found the we found the actual response the next step is you have to find the transfer function so you know the relation to find the transfer function that is step <coughs> step 4 Step 4 is transfer function which is in non causal form that is h of z is equal to h of z is equal to h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 that is 7 minus 1 6 6 by 2 is equal to 3 h of n into z power n plus z power minus n so which is equal to h of 0 is equal to 0 0.03183 plus h of 1 value h of 1 value is 0 0.02926 into z power 1 plus z power minus 1 and then is h of 2 value 0 0.0086 z power 2 plus z power minus 2 plus 0 0.01856 into z power 3 plus z power minus 3 so this transfer function is in non realizable form so you have to find the filter in realizable form and it should be an causal filter so that is realizable realizable form is a causal filter that is h of z whole bar is equal to z power minus you have to multiply by z power minus n minus 1 by 2 that is z power minus 3 into h of z so that my filter that is a causal filter transfer function is 0 0.03183 z power minus 3 plus 0 0.02926 z power minus 2 plus z power minus 4 plus 0 0.0086 into z power minus 1 plus z power minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 plus 0 0.01856 that is z power 0 plus z power minus 6 so this is the filter in realizable form and the filter coefficient here it is an ideal filter so that my uh, my new filter coefficient for finding the frequency response as h of 0 is equal to 0 0.01856 h of 1 is equal to 0 0.0086 h of 2 is equal to 0 0.02926 
and h of 3 is equal to 0 0.03183. Okay. Next, how to realize uh, this filter? How to realize this filter using uh, direct form? Okay. You just uh, you just how you just check uh, how many delay lines uh, that is zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six delay lines. Uh, so you have to draw the six delay lines that is z power minus one z power minus one and then z power minus one and then the combination z power minus one minus two z power minus four and then z power minus five and then z power minus 6 that is the input is x of z that is you just uh, h of z is equal to x of y of z by x of z the transfer function is like this the flow is like this then the first z power See, we just go by it like this in the reverse order. Z power 0 plus Z power minus 6. This is 0 and Z power minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just add. Add. And this one. Add. Add Z power 0 with the, the filter coefficient is. What is the filter coefficient for this? 0 0.01856. Next, next, the next one is z power minus 1 plus z power minus 5, z power 1 and z power minus 5. Add z power minus 1 and z power minus 5 with the filter coefficient. With the filter coefficient as 0 0.0086 just add and then z power minus 2 and z power minus 5 you just uh, take here or here z power minus 2 and then z power minus 5 here and then the filter coefficient as for this the filter coefficient as 0. Point, sorry z power 2 and z power minus 4 the filter coefficient is 0. 0.02926 add this and then final the final is z power minus 3 that is with the filter coefficient as 0 0.0318 here one adder here one adder that is y of z so in this way you have to uh, realize the uh, filter next uh, the next one is you have to find the last one is you have to find the frequency response that is step 6 Step 6 is uh, frequency response. Frequency response. The relation to find the frequency response h of e power j omega is equal to a of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 a of n into cos omega n a of 0 is equal to h of n minus 1 by 2 a of n is equal to h of that is 2 into h of n minus 1 by 2 minus 1 you know that a of 0 is equal to h of n minus 6 minus 6 by 2 is equal to 3 
that is you have to take the filter coefficient from here so you have to take the filter coefficient here that is h of 3 here h of 3 value is h of 3 value is 0 0.03183 which is in causal form so a of 0 is equal to h of 3 that is 0 0.03183 a of 1 is equal to 2 into h of 2 which is equal to so multiply 2 into h of 2 2 into h of 2 0 0.029 into 26 you just multiply 0 0.05852 and similarly a of 2 is equal to 2 into h of 1 that is uh, hf1 is 0, 0, 0.0086 2 into 0 0.0086 the value is 0 0.0172 and af3 is equal to 2 into hf0 hf0 value is 0 0.01856 2 into 0 0.01856 is equal to 0 0.03712 0 0.03712 next we have to uh, we have to write the uh, frequency responses e power j omega is equal to a of 0 is equal to 0 0.03183 plus 0 0.05852 into cos omega plus 0 0.0172 into cos 2 omega 2 omega plus 0 0.03712 into cos 3 Omega. So this is the uh, so this is the frequency response. So this is a, a frequency response of the FAR bandpass filter. Let me let me uh, see the overview of the design of the FAR filter. That is here the case is here the case is an uh, ideal filter. For the ideal filter, the magnitude is equal to one. So from the given specification, from the given specification, draw the plot based on the cutoff frequencies. From that, we identify that it is a bandpass filter. Then to find the desired response, take the inverse Fourier transform. So after taking the inverse Fourier transform, it is very simple to find the desired response as sine 0 0.3 n minus Point minus sine point 0.2 n divided by n pi and next we have to find the actual response or impulse response for the given length as an n is equal to 1 so n is equal to 0 1 2 3 so to find the actual response uh, take a product between the pro desired response and the window function the window function is an hamming window next for different n values we have to find the desired response Next, after finding the desired response, you have to find the window function. Here for Hamming window, for Hamming window, the window function is 0.54 plus 0.46 into cos 2 pi n divided by n minus 1. So from this, uh, for different n values, find the window functions. That is 1.7, 0.31 and 0 0.08. I take the product. Take the product of the window function. Then find the transfer function which is in the non-causal form. The relation to find the transfer function in the non-causal form h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 into h of n into z power n plus z power minus n. And then in realizable form you just multiply by z of minus n minus 1 by 2 into h of z. From that since the filter is symmetrical about 0 and it is unit, the amplitude is unit, you just take the filter new filter coefficient from the realizable form or in the from the causal filter transfer function h of 0 is equal to 0 0.01856 h of 1 0 0.0086 and h of 2 is equal to 0 0.0296 and h of 3 is equal to 0 0.318 and draw the a plot based on the response and then find the frequency response the frequency response is a of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 into a of n into cos omega n and then for different values find the frequency response okay okay next uh, a small assignment problem for you we just take it as an uh, 
assignment uh, after locate this problem and post the answer in the comment section that is h h d of e power j omega is equal to 1 for the frequencies pi by 4 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to pi 0 for the frequencies less than or equal to pi by 4 assume n is equal to 7 use hamming use hamming window use hamming window okay uh, work at this problem and post the answer in the comment section for uh, more problem subscribe our channel thanks for listening thank you so much